would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. What's going on, y'all? I can't talk that loud because I'm at work right now. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, there's a ton of hype. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below. So with that being said, what's going on, guys? I'm back again with another video. Back again with another video. Back, back, back again with another video. So you see this gorgeous and handsome face, might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So today's video, like I said, we got a ton of hype to talk about. We got new Pokemon, we got a new shiny coming. So guys, stay tuned for that. So guys, we're not going to jump into this video now, but we're going to jump into this video right now. Let's go. All right, trainers, so basically, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm at work, but I'm trying to get this out for you guys. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have to excuse the intro because y'all yeah, cause know I'm a lot more louder than that. But anyway, I just got to get this hypeness to y'all. So anyway, basically what's going on in, in the next couple of weeks in Pokemon Go is supposed to be two new events coming up. Now, I thought we were going to be getting a Thanksgiving event, but instead we actually got two brand new events. So we're going to get old, so we're going to get on with that. So let's jump into this now. So it says gather around for a feast of November event. So the word feast is in there. So I'm guessing maybe this is kind of like a Thanksgiving event slash a brand new kind of event. So let's jump into this to see what this has to entail. All right, so it says trainers, as the year draws to a close, we're excited to let you know about the Pokemon Go events on the horizon. Look forward to in-game festivities that will explore Pokemon types introduce you to legendary pokemon and celebrate friendship during this joyful time now we have a new event called super effective week so we're going to talk about that really quickly so it says did you know that fairy type moves are super effective in battle against fighting type pokemon or that psychic type pokemon are weak to bug type moves now take part in the super effective week to learn more about pokemon types and you might discover an exciting Pokemon to partner up with in battle against Team Go Rocket. Now we're going to talk about the dates and times that it actually starts uh, within this month. So let's get into that. All right, so Super Effective Week actually starts Tuesday, November 19th at 1 p.m. PST to Tuesday, November 26th at 1 p.m. PST. So that's at 4 o'clock. Uh, now the features, it's... Pokemon that might be strong partners in battle against Team Go Rocket and other trainers will be appearing more often in the wild in raids and field research. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny tentacle. Now, this is a shiny I have been wanting for a long time, along with Psyduck and some, some others. And it seems like it's crazy because every time I mention a brand new shiny that I would like to see, it actually comes up in like the near, I mean the near, near future. Like not somewhere far, but like it really comes up. So that's pretty good. Uh, exciting to me because I really did want to see this shiny uh, as y'all can already see what it, uh, shiny tentacle actually looks like and shiny tentacruel so y'all see that like it's it's just cool the way it looks it's all purple and it's like a with, with green bulbs in its head you know I think that's pretty cool so with that being said guys uh, we're gonna talk about the bonuses so the bonuses basically is two times stardust from trainer battles you get more potions and revives and pokestops and it's good because you know how you run out of um, you know, potions and revives because you got to take on Team Go Rocket in order to take out Ciara, Cliff, and, and Arlo. Well, now you will have more uh, to power back up our, our Pokemon, like revive them. So that way we can, you know, continue to find those new shinies that's uh, being held by um, Arlo, Ciara, and Cliff. Now, basically, here it says guaranteed charge TMs from three star. Or higher raid. So, in order to get guaranteed charge TMs, you have to uh, battle three um, level. I'm sorry, tier three, tier four, or tier five uh, raids in order to get that. So that's pretty cool. But don't forget, you can actually solo a tier three gem. So you can get you like maybe if you take down like find find like a, a Lolan Raichu if you especially. And don't forget, um, 
Alolan Raichu can also be shiny. So if you don't have one like me, that's uh, actually a good deal. So if you can get that, now not only will you hopefully might run into that shiny Alolan Raichu, but you will also be able to get yourself some uh, guaranteed charge TM. So that's two for one. That, that's like a two for one deal. So that's really cool. So anyway, we're gonna get into the rest of this video, guys. So stay tuned. All right, so now, basically now, we're gonna talk about the new tier five raid boss that's coming within this month. And it's, wait for it, Terrakian. Terrakian is, like I said, it's part of the Swords of Justice, along with Cobalion, and I can't think of that green Pokemon, Verizian, there you go, Verizian. Uh, so yeah, anyway, with that being said, He's coming to tier five raids. So it says Terrakian, the cavern or cavern Pokemon is coming to five star raids. This rock and fighting type legendary Pokemon is said to be strong enough to destroy any, to, de to destroy an entire castle. Now it'll be in your favor to challenge it with water, grass, fighting, ground, psychic, steel, and fairy type Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. The date and time, we're gonna talk about that now. So it's Tuesday, November the 26th at 1 p.m. PST, PST, which is actually at four, o'clock p.m. and then it's, it's to, until Tuesday December 17th at 1 o'clock uh, 1 p.m. PST which is also at 4 p.m. but just know make sure you guys stay warm because it's going to be really uh, cold out here frigid uh, so make sure you wrap up warm uh, if you spoof I suggest you do that um, but yeah just have fun with this event because uh, like I said it's a new event slash I guess this is Niantic's way of uh, giving us a Thanksgiving event. But I think that's good that they're giving us a new name for an event uh, around Thanksgiving. And uh, you know, and then also don't forget we might be getting that shiny Deli Bird because remember, shiny Deli Bird or Deli Bird in general gets released around Christmas and Christmas is, is upon us. So that's pretty cool also. So now with that being said, we're gonna jump into the next new event that's actually coming. So let's get into that. All right, trainers. So before I wrap this video up, or at least this part of the video because I uh, actually actually know in my last video I've actually talked about this the uh, new Wayfarer so I'm just gonna mention that now and then I'm just gonna so that way I don't have to make a two-part video anyhow uh, so yeah so basically um because I have to get back to work too so with that being said also guys and I'm doing this all for you guys so that's pretty cool also and I hope you have to think it's cool too now with that being said um yeah so we have a new event called Friend Fest. So it says celebrate the spirit of family and friendship with the first ever Friend Fest. And I still haven't forgotten to mention about the Wayfarer. I just want to read this off so that way I can get into that and then wrap the video up from there. So anyway, uh, the date and time, it's Wednesday, November 27th at 1 p.m. PST to Monday, December 2nd at 1 p.m. PST, which is 4 p.m. Now, we're going to talk about the features really quickly. So, encounter family-themed Pokemon such as Nidoran, female, Nidoran male, and their evolutions, and more in the wild and in research tasks. So, that's pretty cool. So, we might be seeing, like, Ghastly, because you got Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, you know, family-themed Pokemon. So, this is actually pretty cool, because now, we'll be seeing a lot more family-themed Pokemon. And if you don't have your shiny Nidoran male or female, this is your opportunity to actually get it. Uh... They, they didn't say increase spawns, but they did say encounter for anything. So it's just going to be basically the same amount of uh, um, spawn rates, but it's not going to be increased spawns, I don't think, because they didn't mention increased spawns. So don't get too excited over that, but still get excited because their shiny will be still be bumped up a bit because it'll be more of them spawning than any other uh, Pokemon. So you got that. So you got shinies on shinies on shinies, shiny tentacle. You got Terrakian. You got shiny tentacruel. You got shiny Nidoran, shiny Nidoran female and male. So that's pretty cool too. I have uh, my shiny Nido Queen and I have a shiny Nidoran female also. And I have a shiny Nidoran male and a shiny Nido King. So it, it'd be cool to get more so that way I can have my shiny Nidorino and my shiny Nidorina. You know, it, it's a tongue twister. But yeah, you guys know what I'm saying because I still want all my shiny forms like that. So, I mean, who doesn't want to, right? It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the bonuses, uh, we're going to talk about that now. So basically the bonuses is basically basically you get half Stardust trade cost. You can make two special trades per day because usually you only can make just one. But with this event, you, you can actually make two per day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the attack boost. Oh, your attack boost when you raid with friends. So when you raid with friends, uh, your attack boost actually I believe goes up or whatever or how, however that works. But you guys get what I'm saying. 
So, yeah, that's from the Pokemon Go team. So, basically now we're going to be talking about the Wayfarer. So, basically, the Wayfarer, uh, like I mentioned in my last video, so make sure you go check that out. The link will be in the description below. Also, uh, the Wayfarer is um, now, it's, it's worldwide, so we can uh, submit Pokestops and, uh, you know, everything like that. Because, truth be told, I never, I never really know how that whole thing works. I just saw everybody get excited over it on social media. So, with that being said, if you're level 40, you can uh, submit Pokestop uh, uh submissions and everything like that so that's pretty cool uh because i just learned actually how that goes t today so I, I know some of y'all gonna be getting on me but you know it is what it is we all don't know everything but with that being said um so if you're not level 40 make sure you work your way up to level 40 so you can submit those pokestops maybe hopefully around your jobs or around your homes or something like that and uh yeah so with that being said um if you like this video make sure you guys like comment sub Share this video where we share cool stuff. Comment down below. Smack a like on this video. Turn post notifications on so you can stay updated on my latest video. Crush the notification bell so you be the first to get my video when I upload. And as always, guys, peace and love. Stay humble. Keep your head up. And, uh, yeah. Remember to always, always be blessed. And I'm out. Peace.